Okay guys, I'm down to 79.3 today, so the weight's still starting to drop, um, which is really good, and we're on to day 48 as you can see as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Back with another video today. Again, another day in the life, um, but we're nearly getting to the end of the day now. I think there'll be another three videos after this one here. So they're going to come thick and fast now over the next couple of weeks until I finish my dad anyway. And I'm looking forward to it myself so I'll be able to eat a bit more food again. But today it's going to be a tough day as we've got some cardio to do. And then once we do some cardio, I'm going to be hitting a leg session tonight then. Uh, and then on top of all that, I have um, a load of clients today as well. So yeah, plenty to look forward to today. And of course, this wouldn't be a dad without having the standard omelette with turkey sausages and a bagel on the side on it. Okay, so that's 25 minutes done on the Stairmaster now. Uh, really good work, as you can see. Really, really sweaty. So, yeah, time to cool down now, so you can see the sweat. So yeah, good. 25 minutes done today. Okay, some hours have elapsed now since I had my last meal, so I'm gonna get a bit of food here before I start training for the evening. Earlier on, I had a uh, yogurt again with some protein in it, so now I'm gonna have uh, chicken and lettuce salad basically, and along with that, I'm gonna just have a bottle of water as well. And here's the meal then I've got some Nando's Pernis sauce, 130 grams of chicken, and about a half a bag of shredded lettuce. Okay, guys. Uh, just finished my salad up there. Uh, it's leg day today, so I'm going to take you through uh, my leg session that I'm following at the moment. So I hope you enjoy it. When the lights go down.
Okay, so session done. Legs are absolutely busted after that. Um, but yeah, uh, so now I'm going to take the last plant and then we'll get home and we'll get on to making dinner then. Alright, so it's about an hour later now after my session and I can truly say that I'm actually struggling to walk and my legs are that sore. So I'm definitely not looking forward to tomorrow. The burgers I'm using tonight are 3% fat. As you can see along here, there's actually 2.8 in them. Uh, grams that is and as well as that for protein and for that as well for one burger there's 18.8 grams of protein as well so i'm gonna have two burgers as you would have just seen then all right so i'm just jumping on here finish off this week's video i want to finish off this week talking about sleep and there are many benefits providing that you're getting the right amount of sleep range that people should be sleeping between is between six and a half which is kind of pushing it but between seven and eight hours is mainly what you're looking and the magic number is about eight which is what i try to aim for myself so uh, every night of the week i'll try and get to sleep around 12 o'clock to be waking up about eight o'clock the next morning then uh, this probably will change when uh, things start to go back to normal like people start going back to school and things like that i would probably try and hope to maybe go to bed a bit earlier to get up a bit earlier uh, so that's something as well but the main things I want to talk about today, as I was saying, is sleep. So firstly, providing that you're getting enough sleep, it's going to reduce stress. As a result of being less stressed out, this means that you're going to be able to perform better in the gym and therefore you're going to make better gains overall. Because if you're stressed out, there is a hormone produced called cortisol and as a result then this will prevent you from being able to make as much progress as you'd want in the gym. So therefore, it's been shown that if you're able to get the right amount of sleep, you're then going to be able to produce better results in the gym and therefore you will ski the weight off your dumbbells or whatever you're lifting going up constantly, which is something that everybody wants to see. So that's the first thing. Secondly then is if you're sleeping or keeping a consistent sleep schedule, uh, your weight, um, that won't change. As a result of not sleeping enough again, uh, there is the possibility that your weight could increase as a result of then not <laughs> being in the right sleep schedule, not getting enough, so therefore you'll feel more lethargic and tired throughout the day, which can then result in you wanting more sugary foods, and as a result then, this could then lead to you putting on weight. Sleep will also help keep your immune system good, and obviously with everything that's going on right now, that would be a major thing, so you would need to really make sure that your sleep is good, and as a result as well, if you are sleeping well and you have a good immune system it means you aren't going to have to be taking time off the gym because if you're constantly getting sick then you're not going to be able to go to the gym and then you're going to miss out on being able to make as much progress as possible providing that you know you've been in the gym for a bit of time and you're trying to just continue to keep going but if you are getting your sleep then your immune system won't be as affected as much you won't feel as tired and therefore you'll be able to fight infections better therefore allowing you to be able to go to the gym constantly and finally, one of the main points I thought I'd include, it's not as such as a fitness point of view, but it's just a general overview of things. And that's just um, improving your attention and concentration, meaning that so if you're in school and you're getting enough sleep, then, for example, you'll be able to focus better on a subject that you're in or you're maybe not doing well in. Or if you're in work, for example, you'll be able to concentrate on the task at hand and really just focus on that and not be distracted by things around you. And I have found myself over the years that providing I'm getting enough sleep, I'm able to focus more on something that might not be as interesting to me and therefore I'm able to push through and just get it done and then be able to put it to the side and say, yeah, it's done. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of today's video. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to like, subscribe and share. And then until next time, uh, goodbye.